Hello and welcome to the Sprint Robotics European Virtual Showcase on Process Piping. My name is Steve Strachan and I'm with Sensor Networks and today we're going to be talking about wireless UT sensors for corrosion monitoring in these process piping applications. Uh, just a little bit of background on the way manual inspection is done today versus this is more of an automated style of monitoring. Asset integrity, refineries and pipelines and critical assets traditionally have been more of a time-based maintenance versus a predictive-based maintenance style of, uh, of inspection versus monitoring. And over time, uh, you're able to do a lot more with the data in a monitoring style to keep assets in, in place longer or take them out before critical issues happen. So we'll be talking a little bit more about what that looks like over the course of the next couple of slides. Uh, just a quick case study to start things out, which just kind of denotes manual inspection versus that of this monitoring scheme. We had a, uh, a location where you took a person or a technician out into the field every other month to take a thickness reading versus that of a uh, installed sensor which was in the same place over the course of the year taking daily readings. So what you start to see is a little bit of a fluctuation in uh, the actual manually taken data and uh, and you see in some places the pipe thickness grows and in other places it significantly uh, changes or decreases over time versus that of having a sensor in place taking readings at the exact same spot over time, over the course of you know, maybe a year or, or, or longer. You start to see these different process changes or different changes in corrosion rate versus that of a linear corrosion rate. Uh, talk a little bit about the next couple of slides and then do some hands-on on different options for wired or wireless collection of this data um, in refineries and process piping areas. You have single point monitoring options, multi-point monitoring options, as well as area monitoring options. And there's obviously pros and cons to each. Um, the first one we'll talk about is single point monitoring. These are um, permanent or temporarily installed sensors which um, can be super low temp or super high temp and they are fully wireless and long range as well. Um, the way they're set up is very simply using a cloud-based or on-prem backend to amalgamate the data, a gateway to collect the data from the sensors and obviously the sensors which are on the right side. And to give you an idea what that wireless range looks like um, in a refining type of application, you have about a mile worth of, of uh, distance using you know gateway and antenna in uh, kind of a process style environment. Uh, Multi-point monitoring, so this is areas where you want to put multiple sensors across, you know, maybe a grid or, or an elbow of a pipe. You know, again, these can be super low temp or super high temp, permanent or temporary, and being a wired or data logger or wireless type of a configuration depending on uh, what you're trying to accomplish. And then the last one is the area monitoring. Uh, area monitoring can be below ground or above ground. These are permanent um, and they are also wired sensors. Uh, the good thing about them is you get a lot of points in a small area, but they are restricted on temperature up to 150F65C. So with that said, we'll uh, do a little bit of a demonstration and come back to finish up the presentation. Okay, so now we're gonna go through a quick little hands-on on what some of the different sensors look like. These are the micro pim sensors. This is the low temperature dual with a magnet and you can very simply put him on the pipe using temporary or permanent coupling. This is the high temperature sensor. He'll go up to 500 C and you put him on with a band clamp and different size bands. This is a 14 inch. You can go from two inch up to 36. And you can see a couple of those different examples up here. So I'll move over to smart pims now. Smart pims is the transmitter style, as you can see, uh, wired, data logger, or cellular, and you have Sensors that you can put up to eight dual elements or 16 single element high temperatures, 10, 25, 50 foot lengths, and then you mount your transmitter and you put on your sensors wherever you like. Okay, and we'll move on to, to MAP PIMS, which is area monitoring, and that's our last one, which is just a little example of the epoxied strip onto a pipe, and you can see the transmitter, which collects then to a tablet. Okay, so now that we've seen uh, a little hands-on demo of how the, the sensors look and feel, uh, just a quick couple of slides on installation. Um, obviously, it, these sensors, you have to program them um, manually using a tablet or, or a device when you're out in the field, and this is what that kind of looks like. Some examples of these uh, sensor deployments in the field, whether it's in permanent or temporary hard shell installation or just the blanket style installation, just to get a feel for what those might look like. You can also put the low temperature sensors on again using the magnets, which we saw earlier. 
Um, these is kind of vessels on the left or pipes. They're pretty quick and easy to deploy those magnets just to give you a feel for what those look like in the real world. And then obviously some process piping uh, examples on the left side with one sensor, uh, one single point sensor or on the right side, uh, a number of them all across a, a circuit. So in this case, you can put you know half a dozen to, to a dozen if you, if you so choose, you have that many locations you wanna look at. Here's an application where it's manually taken using some smart PIMs. Uh, on the left side is the data collection manually, uh, which would be on the first floor. The second floor has the actual transmitters, and then the third floor has these uh, has the, the sensors that are looking at these process piping locations. You know, this so happens to be a one and a half inch stainless steel line using uh, some bands. Uh, another example uh, is you know the smart PIMS unit putting a bunch of sensors on some low spots. You know this is more of a fitness for service style application where there were some low spots that were found and they wanted to understand how fast those low spots would be corroding. So here's an example of a smart PIMS application. And then lastly, uh, data and analytics trending and reporting. This is where the rubber really meets the road, right? So you can start dialing in and seeing what each one of these sensors are doing without having to send folks out into the field. And you can have different alarming capabilities, whether it's on corrosion rate or thickness, you know, as this dashboard kind of shows. Um, an example of the data analytics Again, this is one sensor, again, thickness on the Y, time on the X, and you can see exactly how fast these sensors are seeing corrosion underneath them. And then the last one is this is, is an example of this time-based corrosion rate management. So obviously these corrosion rates can change and being able to tweak parameters in real time, you can start doing things with these sensors and this data that you just can't do using a manual approach to data collection. So lastly, data integration, you can pull this data into simply Excel or different historians or inspection data management programs um, and they can also obviously be held in the cloud or on premise so uh, that pretty much wraps things up if there's any questions please let me know and we'll take them from there thank you